so hello everyone again and welcome to my channel in here we're going to be looking at this particular reaction called the mcmurray reaction and how this connects to an outdoor synthesis now this will be a part one video and part two will be focused more on the mcmurray reaction so the part one video will be focusing on what outdoor synthesis truly means and indoor synthesis and how this is going to be involved in various of instrumental chemicals that we see today now we know specific anti-anxiety drugs like the azepin and how this particular drug is actually produced through this particular reaction step which we have over here so this reaction step is going to be focused in details in the mcmurray reaction but in here we have to generate an outdoor particular segment of this product so in here we're going to focus more on this particular step and what is the necessary step or reaction that is required for the formation of this particular fused rings where we have a benzene group fused with a particular pyroxyl ring over here so in here we're going to focus on what are the five steps involved in this particular formation of this ring now let's look at this particular ring over here in this ring we have a benzene ring which is actually fused with a pyroxyl ring and now this fusion involves five possible ways of actually generating this particular segment and one of this particular step which is giving us number one over here is using a green yard step so a green yard step involves the introductory of magnesium bromide that is attached to a particular alkene group and how this is going to be involved in the presence of an acid and how this is going to be react with this particular reagent over here which is a nitro benzene in order for we to generate this particular circleized or fused rings over here now our next step is number two number two possible way of actually going into the formation of this is by using this particular reagent which is actually a venicic azide and this venicic azide you just have to heat it up once you heat it up this will enhance the cyclization process between this nitrogen here and this particular carbon over here therefore this will lead to the release of nitrogen gas which is N2 and then that will enhance the formation of this particular ring now the third step which is actually this or another possible way of formation this particular ring is by using a particular catalyst by the name of palladium and uh, palladium is an interesting catalyst which is actually interesting because it actually forms a bond between itself and this particular benzene ring at this particular carbon over there and then itself and this particular iodine over here thereby resulting in a particular introductory to this particular reagent called an alkyne and this alkyne will then lead to the formation of this particular ring within this particular catalyst so this is quite an thermodynamically favored step thereby using a particular reagent to facilitate the formation of this particular ring now our next step here or number four is by using a corresponding aniline that is actually this particular reagent over there and by subjecting this to a vapor phase reaction with an ethylene glycol which is this particular reagent and this has to be done between 200 degrees celsius and 500 degrees celsius and that is really really a huge temperature to actually like force this reaction to form this particular product over there and last and foremost we're going to follow a ricin nickel reaction where we are going to be reducing a nitro stirring so this is the nitro stirring over there and what we have to do is then subject this to a reduction process 
in our four way to generate this particular reagent over there. So that is about it for this particular step and let me just quickly show you a model of this particular product over there. So this model we have is actually quite interesting I would say. <laughs> so in here let me just zoom this a little bit. Yep. So what we have over there is that we have this particular fusion of two rings over here. We have a benzene group over there fused to a nitroxyl or a phenyl group over there. But in here we are having one, two, three, four, six, seven. So we have seven carbons that forms a ring and one of the carbon is attached to, sorry, not seven. One, two, three, four. We have four carbons, but in the midst of a hyper and hectocyclized form. So this hectocyclized form is actually the inclusion of two nitrogen groups. And then we have a carboxyl group over there. And on one of this carbon, is this carbon is attached to another phenyl group over there. And then the other nitrogen is actually attached to a methyl group over there. So this is particular model kit and this particular carbon is attached, which is the carbon on this particular ring is attached to a chloride or a chlorine atom over there. So that is a molecular model of, of this particular product over there. And that's about it for this particular video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and share with everyone around you. Have a good day. Peace, love you all and be smart.